Hello friends, welcome to form validation in JavaScript video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorials, we understood how to validate student name, password and confirm password fields. For example, if I do not enter any data in these fields and try to submit the form, it says, please enter your name, please enter your password, please re-enter your password like that. Okay, if I enter my name and try to submit, it says this field is valid, these two fields are not valid. I enter the password, I say here Manju and try to submit. It says these two fields are valid, this field is not valid. If I enter the confirm password, for example, R-A-A-J-U Raju and try to submit the form, it says password and confirm password should be same. Okay, if I enter the confirm password, same as password M-A-N-J-U Manju and try to submit the form, the form is successfully submitted. You can see it is displaying student name Manjunath, student password Manju, student confirm password Manju, like that. I go back. You can see in the student name field I have Manjunath and these two fields are empty. If I try to submit, of course it says this field is valid, these two are not valid. We have also implemented the reset button. If I click on the reset button, the form is reset guys. That's what we have done in the previous video tutorials. Okay, in this video tutorial, we are going to understand how to accept uh, student gender and validate guys. So let's get started. I go to default.html page and uh, delete one line break from here. I am going to say label, opening label tag and uh, closing label tag. Inside the label tag, I say gender, G-E-N-D-E-R colon. And then I say here BR. I am going to save it, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see gender colon is displayed. Below this, uh, I am going to display two radio buttons, one for male and one for uh, female. I say here input and then I say here uh, type equals to radio. That creates a radio button and the value of this field, I am going to say male. I am going to identify it uniquely by giving an ID of RDB male and I give name also. I say name equal to RDB student gender and uh, beside this uh, input uh, field that is radio button I display the label opening label closing label and here I say MALE male and uh, let me add a line break if I say control s to save go to browser and refresh you see we got a radio button and the label male displayed next what I do I'm going to add one more radio button I say input and then I say here uh, type equal to radio and uh, the value of this field I say female I'm going to identify it uniquely by giving an ID of RDB female and then name I am going to say RDB student gender here name should be same guys okay then only these two radio buttons work properly and then I am going to display the label opening label tag closing label tag and here I display the text female F-E-M-A-L-E and uh, below this uh, label I am going to add the span tag opening span and uh, closing span tag in this span tag we display the error message if uh, the gender is valid or not valid we'll display the message here I'm going to identify this span tag uniquely I say SPN is student gender valid that's the idea of the span tag guys I'm going to add two times line break. I say control S to save, go to browser and refresh. You see we got uh, radio buttons here and they are working perfectly. You can see if I select the male radio button, female is not selected. If I select the female radio button, male radio button is deselected. They are working properly because we have given the same name RDB student gender, RDB student gender. That's good. Now I'm going to connect the labels. I say here this label is for RDB student gender. This label is for RDB male radio button. And uh, this label is for RDB female radio button. Very simple. Control S to save. Okay. Next, we are going to validate this gender guys. Student gender. For that, we go to JavaScript. What are we going to do? First, we are going to assume what we assume assume student gender 
is valid we assume student gender is valid by saying var is student gender valid equal to true so initially we are setting is student gender valid equal to true we are assuming that the gender is valid that means user has selected the gender that's what we are assuming okay next what we do after validating the student name after validating the password field after validating the confirm password field we are going to validate here the gender okay so what are we going to do first we are going to check if rdb mail radio button is not checked if rdb mail radio button is not checked and rdb female radio button is not checked checked means not selected okay if rdb male radio button is not checked rdb female radio button is not checked okay how do we write the code we write the code if document dot get element by id in double quotations we pass the id rdb mail what is rdb mail rdb mail is the id of this radio button guys okay rdb female is the id of this radio button so we are simply saying here document dot get element by id rdb mail dot checked there is a property we have called as checked if it is not equal to true not equal to true means not checked guys understanding and and same document dot get element by id in double quotation i give the id rdb female rdb female dot checked c h e c k e d is not equal to true not equal to true means what not checked understanding if male radio button and female radio button are both not checked then what we do we consider we consider is student gender valid is equal to false that means user has not selected the gender so definitely is student gender valid will be false else 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 what is the meaning of else if if rdb male radio button is checked or or rdb female radio button is checked either rdb male radio button should be checked or rdb female radio button should be checked if any one radio button is checked then we consider is student gender valid equals to true we consider that gender is true true guys simple right next what we do if student gender is not valid we are simply saying here consider c y n s i d r consider student gender is not valid true means consider student gender is valid understanding if student gender is not valid definitely we have to display the message please select the gender like that right so we say here document dot get element by id in double quotations i say spn is student gender valid spn means span tag right we have a span tag here you can see spn is student gender valid in this span tag we are going to display the message guys we say here dot inner html inner html means content should be equal to what it should be here i say ampersand hash x 2716 that actually displays the cross mark and here we say please select your gender full stop please select your gender like that and we display that text in the red color how do we do that we simply say here document dot get element by id spn e student gender valid dot style dot color equal to red very easy okay if student gender is valid what we have to do we have to display the valid message in the same span tag right so we'll say here 2714 and we display the text valid v a l i d and we display the text in the green color g r w e n green color so very simple guys right we are just simply saying if if rdb male radio button is not checked and rdb female radio button is not checked then consider student gender is not valid 
if rdb male radio button is checked or rdb female radio button is checked consider student gender is valid and depending upon valid or invalid we are displaying the message in the span tag right okay and then before submitting the form before submitting the form here we are going to say or is student gender valid is equal to equal to false okay we are saying or student gender is is not valid in case gender is not valid student gender is not valid then return false return false means do not submit the form understanding if user has selected the gender then submit the form it returns true guys understanding okay if the form is submitted definitely we have to display the gender in the processor.html page what we do we are going to copy this code and paste down and here we say student G E N D E R gender colon. Here we are going to give the parameter name R D B student gender. R D B student gender. So we are getting what student gender and displaying guys G E N D E R gender. I save this file also. I go back. Another thing is we have to implement the reset form. So when we click on the reset button, what should happen? Both R D B male and R D B female radio button should not be checked. So I copy this code and paste here. Simply I say checked equal to false. I copy the code and paste. I say here RDB female F E M A L E female checked equal to false. Simple. I'm going to save it. Control S to save. Go to browser and refresh. Check out now what happens. I enter the name Manjunath. I enter the password M A N J U Manju. I enter the confirm password also M A N J U Manju. And if I try to submit the form, you can see it is telling please select your gender. Here the male radio button is not checked, female radio button is also not checked. So what we have told here, we have told here clearly, if R D B male radio button is not checked and R D B female radio button is not checked, then we have to display please select your gender in the red color. So that is what it is displaying. Please select your gender in the red color. And also you can see that we have set the value is student gender valid equal to false. And we have told here below, right? If student gender is not valid, is student gender valid equal to false? We are telling return false. Return false means what? Do not submit the form. That is the reason it is not submitting the form. If I select the male or female radio button, then what happens? We have already written the code here. We have told if R D B male radio button is checked or R D B female radio button is checked, we are telling E student gender valid equal to true. True means return. True means submit the form. So form is submitted and it displays in the span tag valid text in the green color, guys. That's what happens. So if I click on the submit button, you can see that the form is successfully submitted and it is displaying here student gender male, right? R D B student gender is male you can see that so that is how we are going to validate the gender that is the, the radio buttons guys with the help of checked property with the help of checked property okay and now if i say here like manjunath i enter the password m a n j u manju and the confirm password i say m a n j u manju okay if i click on the reset button all these fields are reset to their default value and you see that this male and female radio buttons will be unchecked, not selected. Reset. See, they are not selected. That code we have written in the reset form. In the reset form here. We have told RDB male checked equal to false. RDB female checked equal to false. So that is how we are going to validate the radio buttons or uh, the student gender guys. I hope you guys have clearly understood. I suggest you people to try this code yourself step by step. I strongly suggest you people to watch the previous videos, okay, one by one. First you see the form validation in JavaScript part one, then you watch form validation in JavaScript part two, form validation in JavaScript part three, and then you have to watch this video guys. So if you watch the video step by step and write the code step by step and execute, you understand 100% clearly guys, as well as you will be able to validate any forms, I'm telling you. You will be able to write the code by yourself. That's it guys for this video tutorial. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss more about form validation in JavaScript.
if you like this video hit the like button and um, share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited if you have any doubts please put them in the comment box so that uh, i can clear as early as possible for more benefits and uh, be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial